Good morning, Bridge Church. My name is Libby and it is my absolute pleasure to be sharing a devotion this morning. I don't know about you. Have you ever, here's a question and put it in the comments if you've got any answers. Have you ever felt completely inadequate to do something you've been asked to do? It's a recurring theme in my life. It happens quite often. Um, I get put in situations where I end up needing to do stuff I have no clue how to do. A particular example of this has been with our house. Many of you know that we are renovating our house for what has been an eternity, um, but it feels like it's gone forever just because it's a massive project. But I never thought I'd be able to do half of the things I've learned to do. Like prior to moving into this house, I didn't, and actually I still don't, I probably should learn, but I didn't know how to change a light bulb, um, let alone like re build effectively a house. So I learned how to do lots of things I didn't know how to do. Some of them like uh, plastering, I've learned to plaster, I put a kitchen together which is harder than an Ikea bookcase. I thought it might be as easy, it's really not. Um, and just loads of things I've had to learn to do and they're things that I never thought I would be able to do but I learned how to do it. But there's a reason I've been able to do those things. It's not because of anything I do, like it's not anything I know, I don't know how to do that, I've not been trained how to do any of those things, but I had a guide, I had the wonderful Julian who was able to um, show me how to do it and guide me because he has the expertise and training to do it. Now life is a lot like that isn't it? Sometimes we feel inadequate to face the things that are thrown at us um, because we have never dealt with it before. But yet, if we place our confidence in God and in who he is, he guides us and he has all the experience and expertise that we need to get through life. He is our source of strength and comfort. This morning, I want to read to us from Psalm 16 because it's a psalm written by David in a time where he was going through trouble. It opens up uh, with the two words, with, well, with the phrase, preserve me, O God. That sounds like someone that's struggling, that's going through a difficult situation. But this psalm doesn't focus on the despair. It doesn't focus on the trouble. It focuses on who God is and the confidence that David has in God and the confidence, therefore, that he can have in his life. So I just want to read it to you this morning. Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their name on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hands are pleasures forevermore. This morning, I don't know how you're feeling about everything, whether you're feeling all right and ready to face the day or whether you're feeling quite worn out, tired, overwhelmed or burdened but I want to really uh, encourage us this morning to put our focus on God. Put your focus and your confidence in who God is because he is our anchor. He is our ultimate source of strength. And I know that even if you feel in, in, inadequate right now, even if you feel like you can't achieve what God is um, guiding you towards, that with God you can, because God gives us strength, he gives us courage, he gives us an inner confidence that has nothing to do with who we are, but it has everything to do with who he is. So I encourage you today, focus on him. Father, help us today to focus our confidence on you, to not um, feel inadequate or overwhelmed, God, because 
Um, we don't feel like we're able to do what we're called to do, but that we focus on you, our ultimate source of strength and courage in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll have a fantastic day. Um, I pray that God is with you, that he is guiding you. Um, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye.